am Indu Murugeshan, Vice Chairperson of KIT, Kalangar Karnanadi Institute of Technology, Coimbatore. With 17 years of KIT's excellence in the field of education, we have been truly contributing towards social betterment via engineering and innovation. A remarkable collaboration towards a goal was a tie-up with the prestigious IIT Bombay's E-Entra Robotics Laboratory. This was truly a game changer. This collaboration has not only enriched uh, the academic experience of our students, but also empowered them to think critically, solve problems creatively, and work collaboratively. We are proud of the achievement and the growth we have witnessed as a result of this partnership. The E-Entra Robotics Laboratory stands as a testament to our commitment in providing the best possible opportunities for the students at KIT. We extend a heartfelt gratitude to the team at E-Entra. Together, we are shaping the future of education and paving the way for countless success stories. Thank you. I am extremely delighted to share with you the remarkable impact of IIT Bombay E-Entra Robotics Laboratory in our campus here at KIT. Our partnership with the Yendra has opened doors in a world of opportunities for our students. This lab 24 by 7 operational has become a hub of innovation and learning, providing both technical expertise and non-technical skills essential for success in today's dynamic world. I extend my sincere appreciation to the team at IIT Bombay for their dedication and partnership. Together we are building the future leaders and innovators of tomorrow. Hi. When you see the highlights of the Eantra Laboratory of KIT Kalingal Karnani, the Institute of Technology, I can say about the student learning. It is the peer learning and the student centric learning, teamwork, hackathons, patents, startups, etc. etc. It has been a cornerstone in nurturing a culture of innovation and excellence. Embedded systems, artificial intelligence, machine learning, automation, 3D printing, drones, augmented reality, virtual reality, and uh, recently some uh, robotic software tools like ROS2, ROS, Gazibro, MATLAB, Zoomings, Archaper, Axis, uh, Kobilo Sim, uh, Industry 4.0, and eventually 17 uh, sustainable uh, developments. These are all the highlights uh, I can say when I'm talking about the Eantra laboratory of uh, KD Kalingan Karnan in the Institute of Technology. Thank you. I'm Glaxon Paul from 3rd year Biomedical Engineering Department. I'm a student colleague of the Eantra Robotics Laboratory at KD Kalingan Karnan Institute of Technology. Since beginning of 2016, the robotics laboratory in our college has expanded its centuries to various schools. Our laboratory now has the ability for application, signing, and allowing. Our laboratory has now has the ability to create fully fresh products and automations completely inside our environment. One of the things which we promote in our laboratory is peer learning. If the juniors learn from the seniors by watching them work, by interacting with them, this creates a beautiful knowledge for the ecosystem where the knowledge goes from seniors to juniors and this continues in a very good cycle. Also, we encourage and motivate our students here to participate in various events like the Yantra Robotics Competition, the Yantra Innovation Challenge, the moves from Yantra and also many more competitions. Our students here also, using their knowledge acquired here and products which they make here, they take it out to various competitions like the Smart and Hackathon, various international competitions, national level competitions and other places. Yantra has given us support and has helped our students to reach great heights including some of the students who also attended Iyandra and Iyandra internship. And these people are now branch over different places, somehow started their own startups. I am sure our students here, with the help of Iyandra laboratory, will also reach great heights in the future. We have made this portable smart kit for physical investigation through our Iyandra robotics laboratory. We have got the opportunity to work with the small team in the report was in our Iyandra lab. And we have got, since this project uh, considered like most of mechanical components, we have got the fa fabrication facilities and uh, working facilities in our lab. And uh, we have won this uh, uh, Yantra Innovation Challenge in uh, 2022 2023 mission. Uh, we have got the opportunity to work in uh, Yantra lab for, uh, as an internship. So, this is Juris and I'm now at the robot for inspection and soundage. So, we have developed this product in our Yantra Robotics Laboratory. Not only the communication part on the robotic side, but also the mechanical part like 3D printing we are also available in our laboratory. The 3D printing section helps us to develop this shell. Uh, the whole body including the propellers and the adapters are in 3D printed. 
So currently we are working on this. This uh, robot has been designed for the National Disaster Response Force as it would help our government to rescue people underwater during the national, uh, national disasters such as flood and tsunami. So currently we have been also shortlisted for the Yendra Finals. The Yendra Symposium that has to be uh, going to be held in uh, April 5th and 6th at IIT Bombay. So we are looking forward to give our best in the finals and uh, thank you. We are happy to say that we were in the part of this competition, Eantra Robotic Competition 2023-2024. The object of, objective of this task is to detect the events placed on the arena map using the overhead camera. The overhead camera transmits this information to the Vanguard pod. The Vanguard mods, which is the events using the utilizing the shortest path finding algorithm and line following algorithm. Finally, uh, the Vanguard boss which is visit the uh, events. Uh, and then the real time location tra location was tracked by the GQS and uh, uh, using Arupa Hi, uh, I am Abhinesh from Second Year Mechanical Department. And this is the uh, electric gun gear tricycle, especially made for differently abled autistic and common people. And we are also making this cycle in you know, an autonomous way and we are currently working on that and we have a rider sensor and some other stuff. We are currently working on that and also we have won uh, first prize at the Bharat Cycle Design Challenge under the category Commute EV. So we are planning to uh, participate in it uh, next year in the Eantra Innovation Challenge to make this cycle you know, into an autonomous way and we will be participating next year. See you on Eantra Innovation Challenge at 2025.